Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over how to write better blog posts with what I believe is the best writing software that you can use. So let's dive in. So the top writing software, in my opinion, is the Hemingway app, and you can actually get it or use it at HemingwayApp.com, and they have both a free and a paid version of this app or this website right here. So before we dive into actually how it works, I just wanted to cover some quick differences between the free and paid versions so that you can see the difference for yourself. So right over here, it says desktop app. If you clicked on that, I'm just gonna go and click leave right here. You can see that it says it's $19.99 for this app. And you may have noticed that you actually can't save on the other one and you can when you use this desktop app here. And actually you don't even need to have internet connection with the paid version. Now I actually don't make any money from this. There's no affiliate program that I know of. So if you wanna pick up this one, you could go to HemingwayApp.com and then buy it. Or you can go and use the free version that I was using over here. So I'm actually going to paste in an article that I had previously written on my site before on WPWithTom.com. So I'm gonna go and grab that and just paste that in here so you can see what it looks like. So by default, there's some little minor spacing issues, but that's not a big deal as far as this goes. You can see there's just a little bit before each of the headings. And there we go, it looks better right now. And I should cover that. That's something that I like to do. I like to write in something like Microsoft Word or Google Doc and then move it into here when I'm using this online version here because this online version does not allow you to actually save the process as you're going through it. But if I were to go and show you when I minimize this, you can actually see that this is the desktop version. If we were to double click on that and open it up here and it opened up in my other screen, so let me pull that over. You can actually go in here and write in this area and edit over here. So there's write and edit. So you can see the difference. When you're writing, there's none of this on the side. It just wants you to be able to write in, in natural flow and then go into the editing process later on. You also can go and file and save it or import and export as well. And I'm just gonna get out of this for now and just show you what it looks like in the actual regular app here online in the free version. So if I go down here, I'll pull this up. Here you can see that it's going to show you the readability and it says grade seven. It also shows the word count. And if you click on show more, it gives you some estimates. So it says estimate reading time, four minutes and 10 seconds. It says letters, characters, words, sentences, paragraphs. And here it gives you hints or basically tips that you can use to improve your writing. So by default, this text right here has 20 adverbs in it. And it says aim for nine or fewer. So the goal of the Hemingway app is to make your blog post more concise, more simple for people to read when they're actually reading the post that you write. There's many times, especially when I'm writing something about WordPress, where I make it too complex of a topic. And by using the Hemingway editor here, I'm able to avoid that because it literally tells me with these highlighted areas what I'm doing wrong. So right here, it says 20 adverbs. You can see there's one, two, three right here in a matter of like a sentence or two. So you can actually go and improve that right on a spot. If I were to hover over it, it says omit right here, or you can go and just get rid of it or reword it. It's very easy to use. Now, something I do personally is I bold areas where I'm gonna have links, and that's why you'll see these bolded ones in the middle here, and then I'll know to add the links later on. Another nice factor that they have up here is you can actually go and add a link if you want to right in this, or you can go up here and change the heading. So this could be your H1 right here. This could be an H2 as an example, an H2, an H3, whatever you want, and so on and so forth as you go through the editing process. It's good to only have one H1 and then the rest either H2s, H3s, maybe some H4s if you want, if you're getting into like super subheadings. So I really think that this is a great app that you can use for free. And I really think it's better than the other ones out there because there's a free version. And then there's also a very inexpensive paid version with their desktop app. Now, if you were to look at some of the competitors out there of this, the price range is somewhere like eight to 20 times as much. So you're going to save a lot of money by using this and still write very good articles. I think you're just getting the best bang for your buck here. And if you're just starting out with a blog or you're trying to do copywriting for the first time, I think this is a great way to improve your writing and make it easy to understand. I really think it makes you a better writer overall. Naturally, I'm not a very good writer. I'd say I'm pretty average, 
but I think it improves my writing by going through this. I like to write it in a normal document and then put it in here afterwards and see how I do and then clean it up from there within the edit version or the edit tab up there. And overall, I would say it does make a difference in my writing. And I think it would in almost anybody's writing, especially when they're just getting started. So I hope you enjoyed this brief video about how to write better blog posts. And in particular, the software that I recommend here, which is the Hemingway Editor. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.